Hey everybody, look what I got my hands on. This is the new Linksys AC5400 MU MIMO Tri-Band Gigabit Router. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the packaging with you, then we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. And I can tell you by the weight of this thing, there's a lot of stuff going on inside here. So the front of the package is really cool. I love the blue. I like the way it kind of stands out and pops. Great image of the router right there. Looks like it continues on to the side. So you can kind of see a full view of the router. Shows part of the antennas here. Nice Linksys badge in white. But again, that blue is really cool. Uh, nice silver, kind of almost like a reflective sticker. Three-year warranty plus three-year tech support. Says $200 value. Uh, there's a little asterisk next to it. I gotta look and see uh, what that actually means. But that's really cool to call it out. That is uh, definitely stands out in the industry right now when most of the routers on the market are uh, one year warranty and only 90 day tech support. So that's a cool selling feature of the router itself. But moving on, there's the next gen AC. So that is talking about MU MIMO. Uh, I like the little uh, slogan right here. The only way to Wi-Fi. And again, that's in a nice silver uh, kind of shine to it so it really pops ideal for 4k and HD TV which is really important now how we're using it here's the series of the product they're called max stream and then the name of the router uh, is the AC 5400 MU MIMO gigabit router I do like the supercharged work and play uh, tri-band quad stream Wi-Fi 5.3 gigabits per second here we have the uh, model number uh, in the corner. We kind of looked at the side already, uh, but if you notice down here on the bottom as well of the package, on the side it calls out Mac, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8 compatible, and it also says uh, also compatible with Windows 10. Now looking at the back of the package, uh, they've done a really good job on creating the back of this package again, calling out the name of the, uh, the, the series, Mac Stream, with MU MIMO technology, uh, works smarter from home, gives a nice little descriptive paragraph on how to use it. I love the uh, hashtag uh, happy family. Uh, so that definitely uh, rings true for me. I, I love when I have a happy family when Wi Fi is working. Uh, here we're calling out Tri Band. Uh, here speeds up to 5.3 gigabits per second. Uh, and they're talking about how it adds an additional 5 gigahertz band. Now, what's really cool is they break it down band one band two band three and they kind of tell you what the speed of each band is and what frequency you should actually put your devices older wireless and in, and uh, g devices a little symbol of email so we get to put our slower speed stuff on there and then uh band two and band three up to 266 megabits per second so on band two they're recommending file transfer and video conferencing, which is cool, and then online gaming and streaming. And that really makes a lot of sense in how to separate your bands so you're not creating a lot of congestion. Nice little uh, icon and logos here to show you tri-band. Uh, and then we'll go to the side of the package, smart Wi-Fi with network map. Uh, Linksys does have some really amazing smart Wi-Fi. Uh, the features are really easy to use uh, and to control. I'll work on uh, creating a video on how to set that up and get that working a little bit later. Now, I love this back here. This actually explains the difference between a traditional router, like an N or an AC traditional router, uh, and how the signal uh, kind of connects, where it looks like all your devices kind of have to form a line and Wi-Fi one device at a time. So everything can only talk to the router one at a time versus Wi-Fi to multiple devices at once at the same speed. So here it looks like we have multiple streams coming out, all these devices all connected through the router at once, which is really awesome. Now looking at the side of the package, this kind of blows me away right here. You can see the eight antennas on the back. You can see the eight gigabit ports right here, which is insane. You have a USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0, your power, the switch, and then it kind of talks about all the features, I'm sorry, talks about all the features on the side here. Uh, Tri-band, 4x4 AC, MU MIMO, advanced security, USB 3 port, uh, dual core CPU. So here it's a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor. So that's really awesome. Uh, beam farming technology, that's a, pretty much an AC standard, uh, but that's really cool to call out. That's a new way uh, 
since AC how the uh, wireless signal transmits. Then we have eight adjustable antennas. That's really gonna come into play when I set this up and I actually wanna alter my uh, Wi-Fi patterns. I'll be able to adjust my antennas. And again, we're calling out smart Wi-Fi. Again, it's a really cool feature. And then here we have the uh, download free smart Wi-Fi app. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this over. Now comes the uh, moment of truth. And uh, it looks like it just has a, a heat shrink wrap on the side. Pretty, fairly easy. Oh, maybe I don't need my, uh, my razor uh, right now. I'll just go ahead and open this up. It's a little thickness to it. It doesn't seem like it's gonna tear super easy, which is nice. Oh, and then on top of the box, we have uh, the Linksys Max Stream, so it kind of calls that out as well. And let's see, there's any stickers? No, no stickers or anything so far, pretty easy. And we're gonna open this up. And it's a nice, uh, nice thick cardboard. And here we have, wow, this thing is, this thing is huge. We have a foam insert, real easy to take out. I'll go ahead and set that aside. Oh, I like this. Right on top, we have a quick start guide. That's it. Wow, uh, four steps for the quick start guide. I'll have to go through that uh, a little bit later. Uh, literally, uh, if replacing an existing router, disconnect that router first. Talking about plugging in the power, plugging into Ethernet, jumping on your network, opening a web browser. That looks like that and it gives you little tips for success. A uh, very simple uh, install guide, uh, which is very, very nice, uh, which is a very nice thing. Now let's go ahead and we have a plastic wrap. And again, this is all foam lined on the inside. Oh, the foam does come out, uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, very easy to grab, but it looks like it was really nice and secure uh, inside there. This just looks like it slides right off. We have some uh, plastic. We'll set that aside. Uh, all the antennas are individually wrapped, which is uh, actually it's pretty cool. Uh, they come off fairly simple, little little stick to it, uh, not too bad at all. But I actually feel like that's going to help prevent uh, in shipping any uh, scratching or uh, any damage to the antennas, uh, maybe from an aesthetic point of view. But that foam layer on the inside of the package, that thing is thick. So this thing is really nice and snug inside the box. Uh, we have a little more plastic here on the, oh, that, that's pretty easy. That comes right off. Uh, this kind of is stuck a little bit under the, uh, looks like the, oh, that just came right off too. That wasn't too bad. Now we're going to, we'll, we'll play with my antennas <laughs> in another video. So we'll set this uh, up here right now and see what else we get. Wow. This is heavy. This router actually is, uh, it's got some really good weight to it. It uh, it feels pretty good, but we'll come back to this here in a second. We'll set this aside for now. What else do we get in the box? We have an Ethernet cable. We have a CD. It's just a really nice little uh, little groove cut out for it. Uh, let's see what else. We have a power supply. There's got to be another piece here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So the other piece was uh, was right there. Nice little compartment. Wow, the packaging on this thing is uh, designed really nice. I don't, I don't think there's anything else that comes in it. The foam piece comes out. Uh, this is really thick. This really thick. Uh, it's like thick cardboard on the inside. Nope, that looks like that was everything that that uh, came inside. But taking a look at this router, uh, let's take a look at it. Here are our eight ethernet ports on the back here's our usb 3.0 usb 2.0 uh here's a little remove before use sticker on there oh that's just the power supply right under there you have a reset button here is your power button uh the bottom you have your network name uh, your default network name uh smart wi-fi serial number mac address 
uh, FCC, all your important information on the side. Uh, looking at the side of it, it's a nice, it's a really nice clean. I love the sloping design. Looking down at the front of it. Oh, and then we have a couple of buttons right here on the side. This looks like this is our WPS button right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, WPS button. And then here we have a Wi-Fi symbol with a line coming through it. And if it's like any of the other Linksys routers, there's a couple of them where you can actually push that button and turn off your Wi-Fi, but still have access to your wired ports. So maybe if you're going out of town, you still want some wired devices connected for whatever reason, security cameras, um, but you don't want your Wi-Fi blasted out. That is still uh, an option for you with that button. I really like that feature. That's a really cool feature. Uh, so I'll go ahead and lay this all out and take a, take a quick shot uh and show you guys uh what that looks like but this thing uh really easy experience really easy to open up really easy looks like the uh like the setup guide is uh gonna actually be really simple to set this up so i'm i'm really excited and uh i look forward to getting this up and running and uh, making a massive difference uh for the wi-fi in my house